I find that a very inspiring and important lesson that the good old days were not good. Every book I read, every conversation, every podcast I listen to, I have a file called One Thing, and I write down the one thing that I found most interesting, most inspiring. And I go back to that file all the time. I have it on my iPhone. And like, if I'm waiting in line, I'll just look through the one thing. So, so, so what's an example of something that's like, what's the, what's the last entry point? I'm curious now. All right. So the last one is... Oh, I was reading old newspapers and they said they used to call uh, 7.30, seven and a half o'clock, six and a half o'clock. So, you know, that one is not particularly useful, but it's I love it because it makes you think that people do things differently. There are different ways to do things. It's always we get locked into our world. Oh, here's another one. Steven Pinker, the Harvard psychologist, he talked about... Um, why did streakers go away in the NFL? You remember in like the 80s or 70s, people would streak nude at football games and it stopped because the TV networks decided we are not going to show them. We are going to pretend it never happened. And so his argument is we should do the same for mass shootings. We should not cover them in the media mm. and that will take away people's uh, well, that's interesting. I mean, the media chooses not to typically speak about death by suicide or those types of things. Right. Yeah. Does it does it diminish it, though, you think? Does it? I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, well, it's an experiment yet to be run. Uh, yeah. uh, so now why are you reading old newspapers? Well, I was reading like, in, like old... what kind of old newspapers? Like, are you like 1955? Let's see what happened to like. I I love it. I have a New York Times subscription and you can search back to its founding in whatever it was, the 1840s. Really? So you can see, yeah, you can see the first time they mentioned, you know, abortion was in the news. So I wanted to know what was the what was the history of abortion? Uh, so that was fascinating. Uh, I, as I say, what I love is it really provides you with proof that life has changed uh, and we see things in a certain way, but we don't have to. And that, to get back to the big wisdom that I took away from the Encyclopedia Project, is the myth of the good old days. We always, that phrase, the good old days, is just crazy talk, because the old days were not good. They were terrible. They were violent. They were dangerous, sexist, homophobic. They were smelly and disgusting. You know, I'm looking out, I live in New York City, and if this were a lot of horse, there used to be a lot of horses on, in New York City. <laughs> horse, yeah. And the horse manure, literally, not metaphorically, literally was waist high. They would sweep it to the sides of the streets, and it was less like waist high piles of horse manure everywhere. They would slaughter animals and just throw the carcasses on the street. It was disgusting. I find that a very inspiring and important lesson, that the good old days we're not good. So we have a huge amount of problems today, but let's not have false nostalgia for the good old days. And let's remember that progress is possible. Progress is real. We have made tremendous strides in life expectancy and, uh, you know, in, in kindness towards other groups. It's disturbing because I hear it every day. You, you look at the news and we're bombarded with the negative stuff and people are like, oh, it's the worst time in history. No, it is totally not the worst time in history. The history sucked. So have a little faith and have a little hope and optimism. If you want to hear more from the aptly named human guinea pig, and frankly, who doesn't? The four-time New York Times bestselling author, A.J. Jacobs, about how he develops his greatest ideas, the unexpected lessons, and why the hell does he put himself through these challenges? <laughs> Click on the link right over there. You have got to hear the full story.